Now, because the inter-Korean summit is taking place in the north, there are limits to media coverage. That's why South Korea set up the main press center in Seoul. Not only will footage be coming through the center, but officials will be giving regular briefings there, too. Park Hee Jun explains. One of the most memorable moments during the April 27th summit in Panmunjom was when South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met for the first time at the military demarcation line. When the main press center in Ilsan, Gyeonggi-do province broadcast live coverage of President Moon stepping over to the north, journalists experienced an overwhelming rush of emotions. The main press center will be playing that same role during the Pyongyang summit, but this time it's in the heart of Seoul. South Korea's presidential office is operating the center at the Dongdaemun Design Plaza to accommodate thousands of members of the local and international media. This is the closest the international media can get to the Pyongyang summit. Details of the meeting will be sent from Pyongyang to the main press center, which journalists will deliver to the rest of the world. The MPC includes a main briefing room, international broadcasting center, interview room, and a master control room. In the main briefing room, journalists will be able to watch live video footage of the summit via two giant screens. There will also be debates among different panels of experts. The press center will be connected to an online platform to provide details on the summit in nine different languages, including English, Chinese, and Arabic. Media members will also be able to access articles, photos, and videos on the summit at any time and any place. The center is scheduled to operate through Friday, a day after the summit ends. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.